600D, which is a good camera to move uh, from uh, just a normal point and shoot towards something a bit more professional, something that you can put your creativity into it and, uh, and see how it goes. Hope you like it. I try to do a couple of shots. So now we'll be trying to take the same picture uh, but uh, with the camera on a tripod on the time value and um, mode setting uh, at about one second so to start to see some uh, movement in the water and uh, as we increase that value as uh, I don't have with me at the moment a remote shutter remote control so uh, there will be some movements in the camera that you want to avoid otherwise uh, your picture will be blurry as we start to increase the, um, the time that the shutter release stays open uh, you want to uh, try to get the, the timing so i show you here how can we do that we can go down here on the setting instead of single shooting there's a possibility of selecting different I continue shooting or set timer, 10 seconds remote control. So this will give you plenty of time as you press the, the button for the camera to stabilize itself and not have any shaking. And of course, starting from this way all the way around here until program value, time value, and aperture value, and then manual. Up to there, it's all pretty much automatic. So the picture is pretty much all very beautiful picture, but uh, you can't do any other effects. You know, you can you can put your own uh, creativity into it. Going to manual, which enables you to set everything with your own creativity. And see now in fully manual, you can start seeing these effects. See the water; it looks all silver. Yes, very bright, so unfortunately this would be the case to use a filter, which I haven't got with me at the moment. So in this situation where it's still quite bright, just late afternoon, you're going to have to use a filter in front of your lenses to darken the scene. And so you leave a, your camera with the long shutters release, so you stay open for a while, you capture a lot of light, but the filter in front will compensate that amount of light. Uh, absolutely there's more uh, you can click on the info button and you can see the setting I've used for this picture so two seconds shutter speed f29 because I wanted to use a 100 ISO to make sure that the quality the picture doesn't grain even if you're gonna expand it on your computer later on let's see what happened now with four seconds shutter speed f29 100 ISO It's also possible to play with the exposure compensation which does automatically shoot um, three shots with different exposures and the result is this very high expose, very bright into this one that makes sense it's very dark now that it's getting darker we can actually extend uh, we can go up to six seconds f29 and actually now we can even uh, Increase, increase the shutter speed so to 8 seconds or 10 seconds and we can also start reducing or increasing the size of the aperture. Let's uh, try with f25, 10 seconds and I want to still keep my ISO 100 for better quality image. I press, you can see there's a timer going. I gave it 10 seconds to make sure that the camera stabilized, doesn't have any vibration after I press the shutter button, see the results. Wow, nice motion blur in the water, see? Okay, as they say, uh, practice makes perfect. So let's keep practicing and see if we can get some good shots. 
I hope this uh, video tutorial will help. Catch you soon. Bye.